Hi everybody, this is Great Angels, and this is your Oracle reading for Wednesday, October 15th through Friday, October 17th. So I hope you're enjoying your week. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the card that we had earlier in the week before we take a look at the card that we're going to be working with uh, for the next couple of days. The card that we had for uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was healing. And uh, I hope that all of you have been taking advantage of the energy of that card. I know that I have, uh, especially... I like to work with moon cycles, and I know that we've just had a new moon. We had that last night, so what I like to do whenever we have a new moon is I do a lot of my manifesting. And um, I did actually a letter of forgiveness to a lot of people to allow my heart to heal and to cleanse that all out so that I've been working on drawing and manifesting a relationship into my life. So I really can tell that this has uh, helped me. Um, I wrote my letter up and I mailed it. So if you, uh, those of you listening, if you are unsure about what mailing means, uh, let me know and I'll tell you some of the methods that I use. But the healing energy is definitely on the way for me. And I know that Archangel Raphael, especially with the green as you see here, has been a primary focus for me in working through all of those things. So let's see what we have for the middle part of our week. Ah, okay. So this is perfect. This is harmony. And I'm sensing that this is really, uh, you know, we were talking about letting certain people and situations and um, occurrences that maybe we've been holding on to that no longer serve a higher purpose for us to let that go. And that's what this card to me is indicating is that this is more relationship harmony. Um, I'm sensing that, you know, a lot of the conflict that maybe some of us have been uh, having has been resolved and that the situation that's been troubling us, it's kind of, it is on the mend. Uh, the angels, they want you to know that you deserve peace and happiness and that you should embrace that. I do see that with this new energy of harmony coming into your life that you're, you're going to be able to get past a lot of the challenges that you've been experiencing and be able to see things in a different light so that conflict can, you know, continue to work with your angels and allow the, that conflict that you have been holding on to just drop away, all right? And you'll be able to see a lot of new things in a different light. And I know that a lot of light workers kind of shy away from telling, you know, um, their family and their partners and friends and coworkers how they really feel um, for fear of, you know, alienating that person or making them, you know, angry or hurt. But, you know, that's a form of control. So, you know, you want to make sure that when you, uh, you know, it's, it's trying to control their reactions or feelings and that's not loving or thoughtful. Thoughtfulness is just a way of saying your truth gently. And I'm also being guided that you need to speak and live your personal truth, but you can also do that in a kind and loving and a gentle way. And, um, you know, that's, that's part of standing our ground and what we need. You know, they want us to open our hearts to everyone involved. And that, you know, that's something that we can work with is, um, you know, saying an affirmation or prayer that, you know, angels were, you know, we, we would like for you to open the hearts of everyone involved in this situation and that all the arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Um, I, I really am also sensing that it's um, this week is really about maximizing any opportunities for abundance that may be coming our way. And I'm seeing study, you know, um, studying as far as finding truth and wisdom in certain lights and certain situations. So take the time to analyze that. Take the time to keep an open mind to learn any new ideas that may come your way or even teach those ideas to others. Um, you know, this may have to do with a life purpose of some sort, but 
um, I think for some of us, you know, this healing has occurred and now we are able to move on to the next phase. And that next phase may be something new. So that's where the study comes in to play with all of this. So, you know, really work with that new learning phase of your life. And, um, you know, don't be afraid to spread your wings and stay focused on, on that. Um, because I really think that if the, the most difficult part of our situation for some of us, it's out of the way. So now we've got this new phase that we can enter into. And I think we're going to start to notice that, you know, the intuition that we have, that you can tap into that to really do that, again, the reflective work to help you through this. So I think I'm, I'm really seeing the pattern of all of this where, you know, it's the letting go and now we're at a peaceful stage where everything's in balance. Everything's kind of the, the ripples of the pond are starting to settle. So enjoy that. And I can't wait to see what um, the weekend holds for us. And again, I just cannot tell you enough. I can't thank you, all of you who have subscribed to my channel and all of you who have sent me wonderful encouragement messages, how much I do appreciate that and know that they are being noticed. And I, I just thank you. And I hope that you all have an incredible week and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.